and here we go again as usual I've been looking through the internet for software and decided to take a little light-hearted look at uh, a probable great game a lot of people enjoy word searches when they buy these magazines and uh, newspaper articles and they've got the word searches in and this software that I've uh, discovered is freely available and uh, can create some quite complex word search programs so we'll have a look at that first of all how to download it and install it we go to the website which is Eric Cole's digital home and I'll put this information up at the end of the video we scan down the page here and we'll see the uh, version 2 for Windows and some screenshots well we'll click on version 2 for Windows I think this will probably take me to my um, OneDrive where it seems to save it so um, first time you actually do it you save it to your download folder which is again fairly straightforward so click on the uh, first time users will click on version 2 for Windows and it will take it to your download folder where you can install it from there if we go to the download folder and we'll see word searches here word search architect and we simply run that get a few bongs and bings and the usual stuff a simple software agreement um, nothing hidden no hidden clauses in it whatsoever straightforward and it tells me it's already been installed but that's not a problem so here we go create a desktop icon if we want to I think there's already one there um, and click next and install and we can launch the word search architect from this position and here it is not a big screen it's just a smaller screen you can choose any subject you like very simple to do but first thing you must do though is give it a title so if I put in something uh, towns oh, and cities is that spelt right T cities or oh, towns and city names there we go that's better we can choose the size of the word search grid we can go 15 by 15 or 25 by 25 whatever uh, goes quite good size and we'll stick with 15 by 15 to start with um, we can make alterations later on if we wish how to put your words in obviously you have to put your own words in click on add and we add for a word now I would suggest you put it on, on the caps lock while you're doing this um, because it looks uh, silly having a load of small uh, you, when you get your little template at the bottom to tell you the words you're looking for if that's in lowercase and what you're looking for is in uppercase then uh, it can be a little bit confusing so let's start by typing in a list of uh, names um, Edinburgh OK that and you'll see the name appears in the uh, words at the bottom we'll add another one um, oh dear I've got a habit of doing the shift Manchester click that OK we can add another one what about London add another one uh, Carlisle add another one something a bit closer to home maybe and Lincoln and this is the way we carry on until you've got your whole list in which I should carry on do we and there we are we have uh, a good number of names in there I'm not quite sure how many actually but uh, there's a good number in there and we can uh, that's it basically set up with all the names in again check your spelling be aware of your spellings uh, makes it very difficult to find a word if it's spelled incorrectly uh, different ways people actually go through sorting out their various uh, words uh, st you've got 18 words in the list the longest one alphabetically is 12 characters so that's the statistics to do with this particular word search the puzzle needs to be scrambled so in other words at the moment the database has got um, the 18 names they're not scrambled at all so if we click on start just takes a second to have it scrambled now I would imagine there's one or two algorithms that scramble all these words if it doesn't work the first time just press the start again if you find it doesn't work out and you get 
um, the puzzle, puzzle could not be scrambled. Um, try changing the size of the grid. Only needs by one each way, and then try to scramble it again, and it would invariably work. There are says, as I said, there's probably several algorithms that it's used to scramble up the words, and it doesn't always get it right first time, so it'll try a different algorithm, and eventually it will get it. If it carry on three or four times and it still hasn't been scrambled successfully, change the size of your grid because it may be just you haven't got enough room to do all that work. Okay, so let's have a preview of what we've chucked in. There we are, that's what it looks like. There's your names of all the towns that we've put in uh, down below. There's 18 towns altogether. And it's off to find now if we OK that and we can locate, if we just put say Bradford there and locate Bradford it can actually show us where it is on our grid. Um, same with Manchester, locate Manchester. Fairly straightforward at the moment, I'm trying to find one a little bit different. Peterborough, we'll locate Peterborough. Oh look, there it is, downwards and backwards. And there's another one. It's uh, horizontally down and backwards to the left. But uh, you can see how it works. If you can't find a word or you think there's one missing, just run that in a simple test. Once you have, um, once you've uh, filled it all in, you're quite happy with the results. You've got all your town names and what have you in there. Then we need to go and save it, and it saves it into um, your documents, and we can call it town and city names, and save that. Again, very quickly, very quick on uh, doing the saves and what have you, and we can then hit the print button to uh, to print it out. Um, I haven't found a way yet, and I don't know if it's possible to actually play it um, online, um, but maybe that's uh, something that Eric Cole could work on is maybe putting it uh, so as it can be played on the screen, so as to speak. Um, yeah, I can't see a way of doing that. So you, each time you finish that one, you've saved it, you can click on New and start another one. You can preview this one. Um, maybe just do a uh, screenshot of that and print it out, if you wish. Or you can just hit the Print button, and that too will print it out. Um, there's a standard printer dialog. And tell it to print it. That's going to my printer, which I shall... Uh, show people at the end of this. Anyway, that's um, the Word Search Architect. Um, use any subject you like in here. Uh, it can be anything you like. Uh, animals, pets, pet names, places, places you've been, football teams, anything at all. Um, and it's fun to set up, but it's even more fun to try and find them yourself. Even though you've created the puzzle, it can still be a bit of a poser and keep your head scratching a bit while you're filling that one in and as usual if the grandkids are coming you want something to do then you can sort out that one of these for the uh, kids print it out a couple and say right there you go don't speak again till you fill that in um, and I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration uh, if you have done then uh, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube which is Howard L Hall um, and if you've liked this demonstration, then please uh, put the thumbs up. If you're not sure about it, put thumbs up for now and we'll sort it out later. But uh, thank you for listening and uh, once again I do hope you've enjoyed this.